In this video, we're going to learn how to make a menu for a console application in Python. We're going to present the user with a set of options to choose from again and again until they choose to quit. As the user selects each option, we'll carry out the functionality associated with that option. To keep things simple for this example, we'll model an ATM machine that allows a user to deposit money, withdraw money, and check their bank account balance. The first thing we'll do is create variables to store the account balance the amount to be withdrawn or deposited, and the option that the user selects from the menu. Now, because we want to repeatedly present the menu to the user again and again until they choose to quit, and because we know we want to present the menu to the user at least once, we're actually going to create a while loop with the condition true. So this loop will execute again and again. We're actually going to use the break keyword to break out of this loop when we do want to quit. Next, we'll present the user with the menu of options. So for one, we'll have deposit. And then for two, we'll have withdraw. For three, we'll have print balance. And for four, we'll have quit. Now we'll prompt the user to enter their choice and we'll store the string they enter into the variable choice. So we'll say choice is equal to input, enter choice. So the input function will output the text enter choice and the string the user enters will be returned from the function and stored into the choice variable. We'll use the strip method to trim off any leading or trailing white space that the user entered when entering their choice. So we'll say choice is equal to choice dot strip. And the strip method will just take off any leading or trailing white space. Next, we can actually check to see which option the user selected. We'll have an if, else if, else control structure to help us do that. We'll say if choice is equal to the string one, then the user wants to make a deposit. So we'll prompt the user for the deposit amount and we'll store it into the amount variable. So we'll say input, enter amount. And what this float function is going to do is take the string that's returned from input and convert it to a float. And we're going to store that into amount. Then we can add that amount to the balance. So we'll say balance plus equals amount to add the entered amount to the balance. If the user enters two, that means they want to withdraw money. So again, we'll prompt the user for an amount and we'll use input to prompt the user and float to convert the string that's entered into a float. This time though, we're gonna subtract the amount from the balance because they're doing a withdrawal. We'll also check to see if choice is equal to three, which means the user wants to print out the balance. And in that case, we're just gonna print balance colon and then the balance itself. Now, if the choice is four, that means the user wants to quit. And in that case, we're going to use break. So break, is going to break control flow out of the loop. It's going to terminate the loop right here. Finally, if the user didn't enter a valid choice, we'll output that here. So if none of these options matched, what we'll output is invalid option, please try again. So we'll save this and then give our program a try. So we'll have python d.py. First, we'll print out the balance by entering choice three, and initially it's zero, and that makes sense. Then we'll try to deposit money, so we'll enter in choice one. We'll enter in an amount of 200, and now if we print out the balance, we get a balance of 200. Then we'll try withdrawing money, so we'll say choice two. We'll enter the amount 100, and now if we print out the balance, we get a balance of 100, and finally we can quit. So the menu does appear to be working okay. Now let's test out some of the error handling code. So we're on the program again, and this time for the choice, I'm going to put some leading and trailing space characters before and after the choice itself. So we'll say space space three, and then some more spaces, and then we'll hit enter. And it still works. We still get balance zero. And that's because we used the strip method to strip out any leading and trailing white space before making comparisons to see which option the user selected. Now let's enter an option in that doesn't exist, like five. 
and we get invalid option, please try again. So we're able to detect that as well and handle that okay too. If we enter in something like ABC, we'll also get invalid option, please try again. So this is how we can make a menu for a Python console application. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.